Hello, Flosstube! It's Sandy, the Sunroom Stitcher, and I am coming to you on August 2nd at 4.31 in the afternoon. I know this wasn't done on the weekend, but I did want to give you an update before another day passed. Um, hubby's at work, and um, we've had an uh, interesting, interesting past week and a half. Um, I think the last video I said that our air conditioner went out and uh, it was extremely hot Sunday night when we went to bed it was 92 degrees in the house so we actually slept in the basement I think I mentioned that we have a bed a twin bed down there and a sleeper sofa so it was actually like about 10 degrees or more cooler down there so Monday, the fellow was here in the afternoon. He got our air conditioner going. And every day, I'm thankful for air conditioner. Yay! I don't know how our ancestors did it without it. I know that my grandparents didn't have it, nor did my, nor did we growing up. So anyways, and then, um, so that really took a toll on me. Um, it was pretty stressed out, um, but uh, made it through. <clears throat> um, and then uh, Saturday, uh, Friday night, we got a phone call from my husband's cousin who lives in Brooklyn. And uh, every year they come out to a conference, a church conference out here. They come out at the same time, so I didn't think that she might make it this year because her mother is um, very, very ill back in uh, New York. Um, but we had a lovely visit. My husband was such a proud a homeowner showing them the house. It, it really makes me feel so good that he's so proud of his home and then Sunday was a day of relaxation and um, I just did a little bit of stitching on Sunday I actually have not worked on the day name I did get started on uh, Ashley's Angel barely got started as you can see this is the waist of the angel and um, I am using a scrap of Joblin Natural Light, uh, 28 count. I really like this fabric. It's nice to stitch on. I'm doing it in hand. But I am using um, Gentle Arts on it. And it just stitches so nicely. And I'll what I'll do then is I'll fold it over to make the fold it over like this and then do the writing in the back of it uh, back stitch that so um, working on that I've got other things for her box that are going that is going with this but it should once I really really get going it should stitch up very quickly but most of all I've got stash and boy have I spent a ton of money on stash um, so some of it's not all of it is cross stitch but I did uh, I did um, do an order at uh, Nordic Needle for these Sweetheart Trees birth, uh, birth month samplers this one's January and this one is September and they came with the little cabochon hearts in the corresponding colors but I absolutely love these band samplers I would love to do one for every month but these were like eleven and a half dollars um, that would be a lot of money but my husband's birthday is in September There's a pretty blue cabochon and then my birthday is in January and it's got a pretty little dark red cabochon but I like the band samplers, and these are so frilly and girly. So 
I, my husband won't appreciate that, but I will. <laughs> uh, those came from Nordic Needle. And um, then I got my haul from 123 today. And I actually had purchased some earrings from them. These are li little ghosts. They remind me of the bad ghost in the um, Casper movie. And I think that those are so, so very cute. And here's another one. The little tag hanging down saying boo. I thought those were cute. And then I really like these. These are angel wings. And they actually do have little rhinestones in there that sparkle. And you might see the sparkle on the edge of the... That's cute. I love them. They remind me of my brother. And also, and this is non-cross-stitch, but I'm not sure. Anyways, my sister gave us a um, Amazon gift card uh, as a housewarming present, and I actually spent some of it on Amazon, and I got us two bird books, and we can uh, sit out here and look at bird books and try and identify them because we do have some uh, birds that I'm not familiar with come and I try to identify them I was trying to do it on the internet but I really like the the books this one has the um, illustrations hand-drawn illustrations and this one has actually the pictures so I really really like those they're big fat books too <clears throat> and I have a two three more books three more books coming but they're also not cross stitch but they're the missing 411 books by David Politis talking about the clusters of disappearances of people from our national uh, our national uh, forests and uh, that is absolutely the most mind-bending things and these are actual disappearances where people go <coughs> missing they might be at the front of a line or the end of a line and going up a trail and they just disappear and they sometimes find them and sometimes they don't it is uh, there's something going on that's very unusual don't know what it is and he doesn't know what it is either he just lays out all the evidence so that was really cool and um what else do I have coming that I'm really excited about I should be getting another uh, a Glenn Beck book that just came out called Liars about the progressive movement, the history of the progressive movement. Looking forward to reading that. And um, I've been doing a lot of reading lately. Um, when things get stressful, I tend to go back to the same series of books and read them from the start to the end, and that's the Left Behind series. And I never get tired of reading that, but for some reason, I get. I feel very reassured when I read those books. And it's a good story. Um, sometimes it gets a little tedious, but I do enjoy them. And I have them on my Kindle. And I have a new Kindle, but I don't have it out here, so we'll just leave that be. So this was my stash, uh, some more stash that I got from uh, 123. This is a new Lizzie Kate, and I really like it. Be your own kind of beautiful. And. I think that that's very relevant to me. So, and that should be a very quick stitch for most people. For me, that will be a month-long project. <laughs> um, also, I got... Uh, it's the uh, color, uh, classic color works and Diane Williams 
uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And I'm not going to take it out of the plastic, but I really liked that. And I also purchased the Cinderella because I really like that. I like the pumpkin carriage. Isn't that cute? And these should be fairly quick stitches too. But looking at that, that's probably a two month project for me. And then I got, this is um, hands-on design. Um, not all stars, not all stars belong in the sky. Shoot. And I thought that was cool. And then I got this one and I really like this. There's um, a sampler and a pattern, uh, ornament pattern. Um, and it's Silver Creek samplers. And I like the saying, if you hitch your wagon to a star, be sure it's the star of Bethlehem. And it looks like that's an older design, but I really like it. And this little ornament here would be a great gift. And then I purchased this, and I want to stitch this up and take it to work. I can't adult today. I love it. <laughs> I can't adult every day. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm 16 inside, or maybe 13, or maybe 10. But it's hard for me to believe that I'm going to be 60 years old in January, because it sure doesn't feel that way. And yet things happen, and I think... Wow, times have really changed. People are really different than they were when I was growing up, and I don't like it. And now I understand where my mom and where my grandparents came from when they talk about young people. I understand that because it is sort of disheartening. Now, these things that I'm going to show you are from Stitches and Things, and these were, these were the things that were like half price. So, um, I got this. This is a 13 by 11 uh, linen. There's a little pen mark on this other side here, which I didn't know about. But I'll bet that would come out easily. But it's very pretty purple. Oh, but you know something? I don't think it is because it looks like it's the thread is on the back. Let me go see. Right here. So I didn't notice that, but I paid like three dollars for it, so. But I'll bet that we can find a great use for that. Don't you think? So, that's pretty. This was half price. This reminds me of my brother, Rick. Why work when you can pillage and plunder? Because it's pirate. My brother was a pirate. Arr, Mickey. So that was three and a quarter. Don't recall how much this was, but I think it was like a buck or something. But it is quite an old, old booklet, and it's country covered. What I liked about it was um, like the Campbell Kids. There's the Campbell Kids, and then there's the uh, Morton Salt and the Arm and Hammer. And on the back they have. Uh, Pepsi Cola. That's my my soda, and then more Morton salt, 
Maxwell House, another Campbell Good girl, Colonial Bread, and Royal Crown Cola. And the Campbell kids, when we were little, my brother Rick and I, people used to tell my mother that we looked like the Campbell kids. And um, so I've made my mom a couple of things with Campbell kids on it. But I, re I really like this. Um, oh, Welsh's jellies in here. Peter Pan. What else? Oh, Jello. J E L L O. And it looks like all of them. But who doesn't love Campbell's tomato soup? I do with noodles. Now, for some reason, this one really, really, really caught my eye and you'll never know why couldn't be because it's birds <laughs> but um, I really like them and this was half price and I couldn't tell you how much I paid for it but it was probably about three dollars but there's a golden eagle and then there's an, um, the owls the hood owl I don't know what kind of owl that is or that. that. I think that might be a snowy owl. But I love the eagle's face on the front here. It's very pretty. But for some reason I was very much attracted to the to the birds. Um this one. Raise the roof. This was eight dollars, so it was a little more than but it was still half price. And I really like this. Words to live by. Thou no God shall be but me before no idol bend by me. Take not the name of God in vain, nor Sabbath day profane. Give thy parents honor due. Take heed that thou no murder do. Abstain from words and deeds unclean. Steal no, steal not, for thou by God art seen. Tell not a willful lie, nor love it. What is thy neighbor? Do not covet. So it's like the Ten Commandments in a poem form. I really do like that. I also got Country Needleworks our little love nest. This was for four twenty five. It's got pink on it, pink, pink, pink. And Moonbeams on the Bay by Michelle Inc. And I do really like this. It was different. And I really like the crab and the water. The sand, the sun, the palm trees. Like that. And this is all dolled up. Little house. Here's another one, and I like this. So this is another little house. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And it says Salem, 1692. I liked that. I was half price too. Then there is this. Carriage house samplings. Island sisters. And I don't know why, but I love that. That was half price also. Like that. Now you guys are going to help keep me from buying any more stash, right? I need to save some money. Okay. Now this I was really disappointed in. 
Marching Orders Needle Book, a red hat stitcher. I got it half price. I'm very disappointed in it. I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah. This, also I was talking about the comparison chart, the metallic thread comparison chart. This is uh, from Rainbow Gallery, and it's got um, petite braid, petite ribbon, uh, number 4 braid, number 8 braid, number 12 braid, number 16 braid, arctic rays, coronet cor, braid, cresta de oro, and crystal braid. And it'll actually give you the color that it's similar to in the crinning. So that could be, it's just like a substitution tart. And um, I may use this, but, uh, oh, and then here, fireworks, gold rush, gold rush, gold rush, gold rush, highlights, Nordic gold, and plastic canvas. So, Oh, and this has got precious metal. It looks like all the different um, varieties they carry. I was disappointed in it, but then again, I didn't know what to expect, and I think I paid two bucks for it. So, but this is the Pisa la de la Zerzerona. Piece, it's the Veldani color card. And it's the actual threads. It doesn't give you the, the name, but it gives you the number. And I, and I like that. So, and there's quite a few in here. I love looking at all the colors. So, that's it for the stash. Um, and um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to sit here and do some stitching. I actually wanted to make some something for, for dinner for my husband when he gets off. And that shouldn't take very long to do. Um, and the rest of the week, stitch. Um, the second part of the, um, the Lizzie Kate Halloween samplers in, so Saturday morning I am going to go back to Weight Watchers. I have not done that. I need to do that. I want to do that. I got very disappointed because, um, the most adorable, uh, skorts that I bought last year last year um, from Denim and Company. Uh, I got them in 1X because I had lost that much weight. Well, I can't wear them now. Absolutely cannot wear them. And I love them. They're adorable. But I, I need to really get stubborn about it. Really get stubborn about it. And I was talking with one of my teammates at work um, Ashley, you've heard me talk about her, and uh, we were just sort of talking about different things that, to, for our health, things we're doing for our health. And the downy woodpecker is at the grease cake. But um, after I go to Weight Watchers, I'm going to go up to CC and Company, and I'm going to pick up that. I also found a titmouse. No, I didn't find a titmouse. There's a titmouse there. Um, I found a $40 gift certificate that I got from Christmas for Cece, so I might take that with me because Lord knows I need more stash, don't I? So, and I'll probably do some more reading, and that would be about all that's going on here. Um, just trying to hold on till the first week of October when I'm off. I'm taking a week off. And I do work uh, Labor Day. Money, money, money. So, anyways. So, for right now, I am going to um, sign off.
and hopefully I'll have a lot of stitching done. Oh, the chipmunk, he's as cute as he can be, but he's in the bush and he's going to try and get up the pole on the bird feeder. Anyways, and oh, and you can see the back of my house. There you go. Yeah, the brick over here, that's the chimney in the front room. And then this is our electricity meter. <laughs> my happy room window, our spare bedroom window. And so, yeah. Oh, and here are some wires. <laughs> oh dear. So anyways, guys, I love all of you. I hope you have a wonderful stitchy week and that all of your stitchy dreams come true. So I will say until then, God bless.